Devin Booker has made his name known since entering the NBA. At just 20 years old, he became the youngest player to score 70 points in the NBA. 70? I was lucky to score seven points in high school. Hell yeah. Modeling his game after one of the greats, his one dribble pull up, back to the basket mid post work, screen to three ball green bean work. It's just super elite. Tatum, D-Book, light skin's up this year, I guess. Hell yeah. And with all these moves, it's only right to find a shoe to fit your style of play. The anticipated D-Book one. Let's find out if it's really like that or not, jerks. If there's one word that I could use to describe Devin Booker's first signature shoe, that one word would be simplicity. There's a lot of simple but dope aspects that I think you guys really will enjoy with this sneaker. Let's start with one of my favorite features on the sneaker, the traction. The Debo features a full length herringbone traction pattern with thick grooves and Nike. This is what I'm talking about, man. Herringbone, now I know it seemed like an outdated feature, but I just feel like, hey, I just feel like the brand's been trying to get a little too cute with the traction lately. Ever since we saw LaMelo put like the rare on the bottom of the sneaker and try to, you know, make it look a little unique, then from what we've seen in the past, hey, sometimes it don't take all that. Sometimes we just need something simple, something proven, and that's what herringbone brings. Now you can try to do the most with the traction, but at the end of the day, it should come down to performance. If it's not performing on the court like how you want, then you gotta go with something that's gonna get you that squeaky, squeaky. Something that's gonna make you you don't really want to slide them on the court. If I can't slide and move how I want to, then there's no point in me trying to do the most with the traction. Now this pair does feature a translucent outsole. I know it's kind of bright, but it does feature a translucent outsole. There is a pair with a solid rubber outsole as well. Either way, you gotta be a basketball player. What that means is wipe how you normally would, wipe how you normally should, and you will be straight. Now the cushioning setup is similar to the Kobe 4 Pro Troll, which if I'm being real, is the weakest one they could have replicated. God dang it. Cush line throughout the sneaker and a heel zoom air unit to complete the loadout. Now don't get me wrong, the lateral side is caged for added stability, so W move here. But when it's all said and done, you guys know it's Cush line. Cush line is nothing spectacular, but at the same time, it's also not uncomfortable. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a little more with this setup. I was kind of expecting, I was kind of expecting some a little Ja Morantish. I, <laughs> I thought they was gonna throw me the little Ja Morant on here. You know, a little zoom air in the forefoot and then some foam throughout. Hey, I didn't think that was too much to ask for, but at the same time, I feel like they thought that, you know, these sneakers would kind of clash. We gotta keep in mind that you know they're both on their first signature sneaker so i think they just try to find a way to kind of diversify both sneakers they could have added something a little more reactive something a little more plush for sure but again it is book's first signature shoe we just on chapter one so i mean it is what it is you know what i'm saying there's room to grow here and for what it is I can't complain. Now this is one of those cushioning setups that will give you a nice amount of court feel. So if you're one who likes playing low to the ground and you like filling the court some, then this is a good setup for you. Now all my young players, I'm not gonna lie, you should be fine. I, hey, you gonna be straight with, with something like this. Now if your knee's bad, you a little older, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You may wanna consider something that gives you a little more underfoot, but again, this isn't bad at all. The materials. Now this is where the sneaker excelled to me. Quality A1 material choices, jerks. Yeah, you gonna like this one. The suede on here, the new buck not only looks elite, but feels nice on court at the same time. It has that old school feel to it, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you start to break them in and realize like, dang, Nah, they really, they really don't make sneakers like this anymore, man. Like, they can, but they don't. Hey, now, don't get me wrong. You can get this same feel out of certain wovens and, you know, some of your mesh choices. But, nah, it's just something about it. Like, this one, it's nice on your bunions. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's nice. It's nice on them toes. I love that they decided to make the sneaker this way. We saw the inspiration with older Jordans. If I'm not mistaken, Devin Booker had a uh, colorway that was similar to the shattered backboard, kind of giving it that throwback feel, kind of giving it that feel again that not only looks great, but feels good on and off the court. And I thought they executed that perfectly here. Premium A1 qualities. Again, you will have to break them in, but after breaking them in, I promise you, you gonna enjoy these. Okay, Nike, okay, book. You got my 
attention. The fit and lockdown is another area that I enjoy, but I do want you guys to know that they are snug, like tight, like compact, yeah. Hey, now for me, this is a good thing. Y'all know I like my sneakers snug, you know what I'm saying? I need to be able to really get down and I need my sneakers tight. Foot all the way at the top, that's me though. For those of you who like a little space at the top, I do recommend trying them on before purchasing. Just a half a size though, that should be good enough. However, do keep in mind though that the sneaker will break in nicely with the quality materials that we talked about earlier. So although it feels snug initially, over time you might get the fit that you want after breaking them in. However, this is up to you. Use your judgment here and you should be fine. I went with my normal size and I ain't gonna lie, hey, I ain't looked back since. Hey, I've been feeling elite. I've been feeling elite on the court with these, like moving how I like to move in these. And that's always a good look. When you find a sneaker that kind of moves with you and fits your style of play and moves to your game, I don't think, hey, I think you, you can't ask for much more than that. Overall, man, I like the shoe. I really do. It's a shoe that fits my game. It's a shoe that's simple, but has a lot of nice features and aspects to it. And if I'm being real, that's also something that kind of comes with Devin Booker as a player as well. There's not a lot of, hey, is he, da, 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 da. he ain't making a thousand moves to get to his spots. Sometimes it's a simple jab between pull-ups. Sometimes it's a simple come off the screen, push cross three ball. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something to keeping stuff simple but being effective at the same time. And that's what the D-Book One brings. It plays fast, the materials are nice. You get a nice amount of court feel. They didn't try to do too much with the traction. Hey, I promise brands, herringbone is fine moving forward. I feel like that's what hindered the Tatum, in my opinion. And I think the vibe was executed perfectly. Let's keep it simple, let's perform. I'm good with that. Now, W First Sneaker though, we can clap it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? W First Sneaker, I don't have a problem with, you know, brands keeping it simple. Especially when it comes to something like this, I feel like a lot of you guys will end up liking this one, especially if this fits your style of play. I do kind of got to throw this out there. If there was something I could complain about, I do wish they would have done a little more uh, with the cushion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe give us a little more in the forefoot. You know, maybe throw some react up there. Ooh, I think, I think this a deadly boy if you throw some react up there. I ain't going to lie. But just going back to what I mentioned, this is chapter one many more chapters to go this is the first uh of many of the book sneakers so and it's nice to kind of see the upside on the sneaker man like there's a lot of upside here and i know they'll probably only get better with time and just to be real i had so many people who who came up to me and was like bro i saw the pictures and i wasn't impressed but seeing them on foot seeing them in action seeing you go in them they actually look pretty clean and and I'm going to think about getting me a pair. But that's it for me, man. Let me know what you think. If you have a pair of book ones, let me know if you mess with them. Again, I mess with this sneaker. I haven't created my rotation list yet, but I could tell you right away that this is probably a top five sneaker for me right now. Um, yeah, I, I plan to play in it a lot more. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll show you guys some clips. I'll put some clips off to the side. I've been moving good in them. <laughs> I've been green in them books. I'm not going to lie. The shot been there. I'm feeling like deep book for real. So, hey, shout out book, man. Hey, he got me shooting that whole like, like him for real. You know what I'm saying? So it's been kind of exciting to, to test this sneaker. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to play in. Outside of that, thank you guys for being here. Be on the lookout for more content. I am bringing the food videos back, not on this channel, but on another channel, just because I'm keeping this channel all performance. But there are a lot of people who really mess with my food videos and I miss making them and I'm not gonna lie. I miss trying new food. There's been a lot of dope stuff that's come out. Like Hot Honey is back. Like I get, I gotta slide wing stop. I ain't been because I haven't been able to record, but we gonna get back to it for sure. So there'll be another channel for that. So stay on the lookout for that. If you don't see me on this channel, then be sure to subscribe to the Walk Ons channel. My brother Clay and I will be talking everything basketball where we do talk everything basketball. That's high school, that's college. That's NBA. Anything basketball related, we like to chop it up over there. There will be a link in the description. Be sure to subscribe and show your boy some love over there. I promise it means a lot. Big thank you to those jerks who continue to support the brand. And that's with a wristband, that's with shorts, that's with tees. If you need a black hoodie, a gray Never Fold Essential hoodie, anything you need over there, we do have it. Neverfold.shop. Show your boy some love. Continue to show some show some love over there but also have some patience with me y'all know hey look i'm ordering the garments i'm customer service y'all gotta give me some time i promise i'm you know what i'm saying I, i'm getting your orders taken care of and again man thank you for your patience thank you for continuing to rock with me and the brand 
uh i know i don't say it all the time but it means a lot man like never fold means a lot to me so any support uh that i'm getting over there i promise it's appreciated and lastly be sure to tap in with your boy on instagram at i am j jones why because i can't get brand deals without you there i said it every follow means the most as well man i'll be needing all over there to really get brand deals you know? <laughs> like i said be sure to leave your comments below if you have a pair of books let me know what you think let me know how you feeling uh and let me know what's in your rotation uh, I think next we're going to go with the Heart and Volume 8 on this channel. But yeah, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, Jakes. I'm out. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying, lightning struck, power out, his sparks was flying.